Yo, welcome back to Footballology. So, day one of the combine in the books, I uh, pretty much watched it all day long. was up at 6.30 this morning, pretty juiced up, excited for it. This is something I take off from work for because I, I just love this stuff. And I uh, watched it all the way up. It's 3 o'clock now. So, I watched it all day long. I was on it. I was on the internet. I was on the TV. I was, I was everywhere. I was trying to get as much possible that I could because I've not been watching any football or any guy, anybody's top prospects or anything. I just kind of wanted to evaluate guys on my own and see what I can come up with and see if it matches up what the experts come up with, so to speak. So what I've learned today, though, is that offensive line is definitely deep. It is definitely going to be some quality offensive line out there. This is the year that a lot of teams are looking for, like Indianapolis. Carolina is a team that's looking for this kind of draft. Uh, obviously, Tennessee with their issues and wanting to protect their quarterback, San Diego being another team as well. So, if you're an offensive lineman coming out in this year's draft, you're definitely in the right draft class. This 2016 draft class is definitely going to get a lot of offensive linemen paid. Probably, we're going to look at a lot of offensive linemen probably in the first two rounds. It wouldn't surprise me. The guys that showed up today are really good. Joshua Garnett was the guy that I was looking at. And I think the guy that stole the day from the offensive line standpoint was Jake Cochran. Or Cochran. I, 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 I don't know how to say his last name. It sounded weird. But he definitely showed up for the offensive lineman today. And I think he was a guy that, if you really want to break down the comparisons to him, he can compare it to Zach Martin, play some tackle, probably can kick in in the guard and give you quality play there. Uh, Tensel and Stanley being the top two prospects, uh, those guys definitely look fluid in some of the on-the-field uh, on position drills. Uh, now moving over to the running back's position, the running back's position was really insane because starting off in the day, everyone was Ezekiel Elliott, Ezekiel Elliott, Ezekiel Elliott. And it was pretty cool. Like, that's cool. You know, I, I felt like he was going to test good. I thought he was going to test good if he would have came out last year when he had the big game against Alabama in the national championship. I thought he would have came out then to test well. Derrick Henry. Now, everything he did and everything that he put on the field was crazy from a numbers aspect. I mean, the guy's 6'2", 247. And you'd like to see him shave about 15 pounds, 10 to 15 pounds. And if he does that, I think he could play at a, a way, way better way better level and a more quality level. Uh, but just his numbers and where he tested at running a 4-5, you know, jumping 37 in the vert. Uh, guy tested well and catch the ball really well in some of the position drills on the field. But I think the position drills that they had on the field really wasn't his strong suit and really didn't want to – it really wasn't for him. So you wasn't expecting him to succeed as much. But definitely a guy I liked uh, – Glenn Gronkowski was a guy that I know a lot of people are looking at him like, oh, Gronk, your brother, blah, blah, blah. He's definitely going to – he's probably going to be something, honestly, if he goes to the right team and if you use him, not so much as how the Patriots use Rob, but definitely use him as a special guy, fullback, tight end. Use him in much ways as possible, and I think he can give you that, and you probably can have great success with him as, as another guy I liked. Um, Keith Marshall obviously running a 4-3 today. I think he jumped off and – Grabbed a lot of people's attention. A guy that I, I was really interested in uh, once I seen that what he did from, you know, jumping aspect and then run into the 40. And then just from position drills, he looked pretty decent. was Daniel uh, Lasco. <laughs> Lasco. <laughs> I have to look at my computer, sorry. But he was a guy that definitely jumped off the screen for me and a guy that I probably were going to put on my sleeper list and I'm really excited for. Uh, but that was really about it for day one. Um we knew what this draft was. A lot of people kept saying it was a heavy offensive lineman draft, and that's exactly what you've seen. These two running backs, uh, Henry and Elliott, is going to be interesting. But then even that third running back is going to be somebody that's going to push for that number two running back position potentially. But me personally, the way after today, I think Henry's probably the number one running back. A guy his size doing what he's done, if, he can, if you can get him just to shed 10 pounds, he can be a beast for the coming years. But, yeah, that was pretty much all I had for the day one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the combine if you have watched it. If not, yeah, just do a little couple of rundowns. Get on NFL.com, see what you can look up as well. But stay safe, football fans. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Deuces.